At 46, I was at a crucial age where I was supposed to grow a beer belly and become cynical. Instead, I got Parkinson's disease. Since then, I've become a self-taught expert on the subject. Parkinson's, that is. Having Parkinson's, my life has become a process of selective neglect. I am out of work because of the disease. I have no choice but to live with that. But what could I do having Parkinson's? Parkinson's disease is defined as a neurodegenerative disorder. We have a genetic disposition for the disease triggered by an environmental toxin. I caught mine off a toilet seat on a fish boat in Alaska. I used to be a commercial fisherman, but I stopped because with Parkinson's I was losing my balance. It was a reality check. I regarded my options. There weren't many. I made two lists. Jobs I can't do. Ah! Jobs I can do. But none were appealing. Finally I considered one last option. I'd always wanted to write. I used to be able to type 60 words a minute, and I still can. I tried a speech recognition program. I called tech support. Here's a sample of its evil doings on a good day. I pledge allegiance to the flag in the United States of America into the puppets for which stands one nation, ignited, flirting justice for all. Am I responsible for this? What if Homeland Security gets their hands on my hard drive? It goes on to translate, thou shalt not commit adultery into the shell recommended only. It rendered William Wordsworth's daffodils as data bills, while Tennyson's light brigade charged happily, happily, happily onwards. And not even a sadistic bonsai artist could twist Joyce Kilmer's trees into such a deranged manner. I think that I shall never see up one lovely as a tree, a tree as hungry mouth is pressed against your sweet flowering breast, a tree that lets it go all day and left her leafy arms to pray, a tree that in summer wear Vanessa Robbins in her hair, fond as blossoming snow and flame, Linda Bentley lives with rain, Paul Miller made fools like me, but only God can make a tree. I haven't a clue who Vanessa Robbins Linda Bentley or Paul Miller might be other than prodigy of generic computer codes breeding unchecked in some programmer's basement. I'd had enough. I called tech support back. Still, they did not recognize my English. Then the penny dropped. I'm going to be a word recognition tech support person. I'll be perfect for the job. <laughs>